There's a type of cold fusion that actually works and has been experimentally verified for decades. It's called muon catalyzed fusion, and yes, there are actually people working on it. Last month, researchers demonstrated a new way to produce muons using lasers, potentially solving one of the biggest practical challenges. And a startup called Accelerant Fusion is raising money to save the world with muon catalyzed fusion. Just how crazy is this? Let's have a look. The biggest problem with nuclear fusion is that atomic nuclei are all positively charged, so they repel each other. You need to overcome this electric repulsion first until the strong nuclear force sets in. If the nuclei have electrons around them, this shields the charge of the nucleus up to some distance. But the electron orbits are so far away from the nucleus that this shielding doesn't allow you to get the nuclei close enough. Enter muons. muons are elementary particles similar to electrons but about 200 times heavier. And because muons are so much heavier, their energy orbitals around atomic nuclei are much smaller. This means if you replace the electron around a hydrogen atom with a muon, you can bring the nuclei closer together without the electric repulsion getting in the way. And that much increases the fusion probability even at room temperature. The muon acts as a catalyst. Hence, it's called muon catalyzed fusion. This was theoretically predicted already in the 1940s and first experimentally confirmed in the 1950s. So not like this is a new idea. But if this works, why aren't we powering the world with muon catalyzed fusion already? As you probably guessed, there are a few problems. The first problem is that muons are unstable. They can only catalyze so many fusions until they decay. This wouldn't be such a big issue if it wasn't for the second problem, which is that in about 1% of fusion reactions between deuterium and tritium, the muon gets stuck to the helium nucleus and then it can't catalyze any more fusions. This means that the number of available muons decreases. Typically, a muon only manages to catalyze about 100 fusion reactions. The observed record was 150 and that dates back to the 1980s when people still had time for this kind of thing. That the muons get stuck also wouldn't be such a big issue if it wasn't for the third problem. Muon production is currently done with particle accelerators and those aren't known for being energy efficient. So you need to put in vastly more energy than you get out of the fusion. But that was the status in the 1980s. And technology has come a long way since. Indeed, the startup Acceleron Fusion now wants to bring muon catalyzed fusion to the market. In December, they raised $24 million to get it done with a proton accelerator. They shoot the protons into a target, which creates pions that then decay into muons. To make their technology produce net energy, they need to make the proton acceleration as efficient as possible. Possible. And they also have a plan to avoid that the muons get stuck so quickly on the helium by putting the fuel under pressure, some thousand times atmospheric pressure. I'm somewhat skeptical that the proton accelerator will ever become energy efficient, but maybe the following can help. In March, researchers from the UK and Romania demonstrated a new way to produce muons. They do it with laser wake field acceleration. Yes, that's the same technology that could shrink accelerators back down to something that doesn't take billions of dollars international agreements and a geological survey. Laser wake field acceleration works by shooting a laser pulse into a gas, typically hydrogen. The laser deposits energy into the gas, which blasts electrons away, leaving behind a region of rapidly moving positive charge. This pulls in electrons from behind, so it accelerates them. This technology can produce electron energies in the range of some giga electron volts over just a few centimeters. In comparison, the LHC has a pre-accelerator that speeds protons up to similar energy, but that's more than 100 meters in circumference. Wake field acceleration isn't yet good enough to actually build bigger particle colliders, but producing muons. 
Now that's a different thing. So in this new study, the researchers used laser wake field acceleration to create GV electrons, dump those into a lead target, and that produced about 10,000 muons per shot. Now, to be fair, they used a petawatt laser, which is still some 20 meters long or so. So if you want to call that a tabletop experiment, you'd need a very long table. And lasers aren't known for being energy efficient either. But that's still a remarkable achievement, which puts forward an entirely new avenue for muon production. Muon catalyzed fusion isn't going to power our homes anytime soon. But if they can get it to work, then particle physicists can brag that their accelerators were good for something after all. Did you know there's a free and easy way to learn more about the science behind all the videos that you've been watching? Yes, there is. Have a look at Brilliant. All courses on Brilliant have interactive visualizations and come with follow-up questions. What you see here is from their data science courses, which they just released. They all use real-world examples like what it means to go viral on X. Brilliant covers a large variety of topics in science, computer science and maths, from general scientific thinking to dedicated courses on algebra or large language models, just what I'm interested in. And they're adding new courses each month. I even have my own course on Brilliant. That's an introduction to quantum mechanics. It'll help you understand what a wave function is and what the difference is between superpositions and entanglement. It also covers interference, the uncertainty principle and Bell's theorem. And after that, you can continue maybe with a course on quantum computing or differential equations. Sounds good. I hope it does. You can try Brilliant yourself for free if you use my link brilliant.org slash Sabina or scan the QR code. That way you'll get to try out everything Brilliant has to offer for a full 30 days and you'll get 20% off the annual premium subscription. So go and give it a try. I'm sure you won't regret it. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.